Hey everybody, welcome back to another week of the Fogo Life. I'm your host, Captain Ron. We are here at Tropical Smokehouse in West Palm Beach, Florida, and we've got an unbelievable event. There's teams here from all over the country, Texas, California, Florida, you name it, and they're serving out unbelievable food. We've had ribs, we've had brisket, we've had sausage, we've had pork, you name it. So let's go inside and check it out and see what we got going on. All right, guys, I'm here with Paulina and Jeff from Apocalypse Barbecue down in Miami. And let me tell you something. These ribs, they won first place in both divisions in the Fort Lauderdale Food and Wine Festival last weekend. And I got to tell you, we came in third, and I didn't mind losing to this rib one single bit. All right, so who wants to tell us a little bit about what you're going on? Tell us a little about your process, what you got. So here we have our beautiful spare ribs. Uh, we start off with a wonderful Cheshire rib. Uh, we take some Cafe Bustelo, okay. build the rub around that, season these guys, let them sit for 24 hours in a dry brine, dry brine, smoke them for about six to eight hours, and then we finish them off with our Cuban coffee infused barbecue sauce, we call it Oro Negro. That sauce, I wanna drink the stuff, I swear. She's got it in a little, she's got it in little cups here, I was doing shots of it earlier, so <laughs> it's so good. The, the, the combination of flavors with that with that sauce on there, it, it's just, it's so tender and it's so flavorful. You know, you got a little bit of sweet, got a little bit, it, it's just a great all around rib. So I just wanna say congratulations because it is phenomenal. I, I don't get too blown away by barbecue too much. I was pretty blown away by these ribs. That that means coming from someone like you, that means the world, man. That is quite the compliment. Thank you so much. Well, thanks, man. Listen, I want you guys to have a great time, all right? Okay, thank okay. you. Okay. All right, have a great time today. Enjoy yourselves and, and keep serving up that greatness. It's going to be a beautiful day. Any day with full of barbecue is a beautiful day. That's what I'm all about. All right, everybody, now we got a super special one. Special guest from Austin, Texas, Interstellar Barbecue. John, how you doing, man? I'm doing great, man. Yeah. So tell us a little about what you're going on. I can tell you this. I had to try it because I saw four people walk up, taste it, and walk away. and went, wow. I said, I got to try that. So tell us about what you got. So this is a little combination of three things I love a lot. Uh, my pastime cooking in a Cuban Creole restaurant in right. Oregon, uh, barbecue from Austin, Texas. Sure. And then I'm in Southern Florida where there's lots of Cuban food. So I decided to bring all three of them together and do my version of oxtails on creamy rice grits with some uh, peas. I, I love it. I'll tell you what, as soon as I took that little forkful, it, it's just a, f a flavor explosion. There's so much good, but it all goes together so well with that beautiful rice that's in there. A really, really nice job. So. Tell us where you're at in Austin. Where, where can people find you? So um, our restaurant is Interstellar Barbecue. We are in Northwest Austin on Ranch Road 620. Okay. Uh, so just head out Northwest, grab some beer, and come have some barbecue with us. That sounds like a solid plan to me, man. I'm gonna hit that next time I'm in Austin for sure. Thanks so much, John. All right. everybody so we're gonna get some information from some of the people out in the crowd here go so how are you today sir unbelievable unbelievable and what's your name my name is Sam and where are you from Sam I live in Wellington Florida Wellington Florida right right, right close by here all right good so what do you got there you got some tomahawk uh, reverse seared ribeye tomahawk ribeye from some Demkota meat company yeah. which is unbelievable this is like the best piece of beef I've had in a long time. That coffee rub they put on there is outstanding. And that caveman sear they gave it, Un unreal, right? Yeah. So it's not tender at all, is it? No, it's not tender. It's more like butter. Butter, <laughs> Butter's the more melts in your mouth. We, we love a good buttery steak, don't we? Yes, we do. Well, Sam, thanks so much. I want you to have a great um, time today, okay? You too. This right. is a wonderful day. And there's only one thing I can think of better on a Saturday morning. What's that? Than an event like this. One old fashioned and one piece of steak. Life is good. And uh, we love coming here, so when I heard about this event and yep. how many barbecue pit masters are bringing in, I signed right up. Pretty impressive lineup, right? Oh yeah, this is insane. Awesome. Insane. So what's your favorite bite that you've had so far today? So far, it's the uh, the one over Puerto Rican rice. Oh it's yeah. It's been just incredible. There's a little kick to it. It was fantastic. What, what, a, what a combo of flavors in there, right? Yeah, yeah. Where, if, if they let me go back for seconds or thirds or fourths or fifths, uh, I'll be going back. If not, let me know. I'll sneak in there, all right? <laughs> I appreciate it. Awesome. Thanks for taking Thank the time so to talk much. to us. I appreciate it. Absolutely. Sorry. Take care. All right, Andy. So tell me, you've been, I see you've been walking around, enjoying a lot of the food here. What's been your favorite bite so far? So I'm a, obviously a big guy. I like a lot of food. But I'm not going to lie. I'm, I like the unique stuff. 
I'm, I'm partial to the fish and I'm partial to the duck, but I do enjoy all the beef and pork options also. Excellent, I'm with you. So I'm, I'm with you. I'll take a little bit of everything, you know, it's all good. So what a great time out here. What crowd's fantastic and, and well for a good cause. Can't beat that. Great cause and great weather and great people, great food. Can't beat it. It doesn't get any better than that. The Fogo team brewed and served one of the best coffees I've ever tasted. Fogo charcoal is made of sustainably sourced wood from El Salvador, where Inga trees are used as shade trees for growing world-class coffee plants. These shade trees are constantly pruned and occasionally removed to maintain the proper amount of shade. It's the wood from these pruned trees that make up our special aromatic blend of lump charcoal. That's why we decided to bring some of the coffee to the same plantation and serve it at Tropical Smokehouse. All right, guys, we're still out here at Tropical Smokehouse just doing all this stuff. They did these caveman tomahawks that are absolutely amazing. So tell us who you are, what you do, and where we can find you. Hi, guys. Uh, my name is Louis Blanco. I'm here in Palm Beach. I'm a private chef. My brother, Rick Mace, and Jason own Tropical Smokehouse. So whenever they invite me to have a good time, I'm always here rocking and rolling. All about it, right? So tell us these tomahawks you did here. Tell us a little bit about what you did, how they're serving, and what, what do we got going on here? All right, so we have a little bit of a tomahawks that we smoked over the kettle for a little bit. So we smoked them until they're rare. And then we got these beautiful green eggs with a little bit of fogo in there. Uh, we just blast them to get a nice crust with a little coffee rub on the outside. Slice them nice, mid-rare, as it always should be. And a little bit of Malden salt with a little bit of coffee rub from Fogo. And we're ready to rock and roll. Awesome, awesome. I'll tell you what, that coffee rub on the steak is outstanding. Just that beautiful little flavor. And like you said, green eggs and Fogo go together really well, don't they? That's it. The proof is in the pudding. Or should I say, in the tomahawk. All right, now another very special guest here. Believe me, it's a very special guest. This is Paul from Demcoda Ranch Beef Company, and they are supplying all of the beef that you see here cooked in here. Thanks for joining us today, Paul. Good to be here, Captain Ron. Good yeah, to see you. Likewise. So tell us a little bit about what's going on. Tell us a little bit about Demcoda and everything we got going on here. Uh, well, we're in sunny Florida today, uh, enjoying some barbecue close to the beach, but uh, the rest of the world's under a snow blanket and a little cold. It's good to be here. I call that Florida Appreciation Week. <laughs> uh, but uh, cattle love cold weather. Yeah. But Aberdeen, South Dakota, where Dakota is. Okay. Uh, small family farms is what we pull from. Right. We process some of the best beef in the United States. I can personally attest to that because I have used it in some of my events, and it is second to none. It's really super quality beef. So uh, I know you guys supplied all the beef out here today. Is that right? Absolutely. Tropical Smoke's been a big uh, partner with us. As they open, they're in their second location even. Yeah. Uh, all their briskets, beef ribs, so forth from us, they buy from us every single week, and we appreciate their partnership. Excellent. We appreciate you guys. Um, thanks for putting out such a great quality product. Thanks for being a supporter of Fogo and for being out here today with us. Thank you. Good to see you again. Likewise. All right, so if you wait around long enough, you get to meet with the man himself, all right? This is Mr. Rick Mace, owner-operator of Tropical Smokehouse here. Rick, first of all, awesome event. Thanks for having us out here. Thanks. Thanks so much. So tell us a little bit about what we got going on, what you put together here. Tell us a little bit about the whole entire thing. Well, you know, I can't take too much credit because there's so many amazing people involved, all of the pit masters that came out, all the generous support that we had. We really materialized the event. Like in the last 100 days, it kind of really gained a lot of momentum. And we had such an incredible turnout today, and hopefully we can pass some of that on to Nami. It's, it's fantastic. I was here last year, and you can tell the difference. It was great last year. It's even even more great this year. So and the, the food is stepped. I mean, it's just, uh, I haven't, there's not one thing I taste where I went, meh. You know, everybody's doing an unbelievable job. Oh, if you can't cook, you can't play with us. That's that's what I'm talking about. So. This year we did uh, twice as many pit masters and half price on the ticket. So I think we came out all right there. I think that's a really good equation. Yeah, actually. So well, I just want to say thanks. Thanks so much for having us out here. Uh, an awesome event. We're looking forward to it again next year. Thank you, Captain. Absolutely. Folks, this is the end of our day. We have had such an incredible time here, eating some incredible food. I even talked my girlfriend and Lynn into being in the video with me. Hi, Lynn. Hi, guys. Did you have fun? I had a blast. How about that food and that coffee, huh? That coffee is great. Yeah, so we serve we served beautiful coffee from our El Salvador plantations down there, and it was unbelievable. So an, another amazing day out here in the barbecue world. I just want to say that it, it's an honor for us to be able to be a part of these type of events. And uh, I want to thank you all for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed this video. Remember to subscribe, hit like on the channel, leave us a comment. Tell us what your favorite barbecue event is of the year, all right? So until then, remember to get out and grill. I'll see you next time on The Fogo Life. Captain Ron and Lynn, 